So you want to become a professional football player. In this series, I'll take you behind the scenes to meet the experts to see what it takes to actually get there. Being a professional football player means performing at the top level all the time. Recovery time doesn't exist and big games are every few days. A professional football player is like a finely tuned machine and just like a machine, they need the proper fuel. That's where nutrition comes into play. The average midfielder now runs over 10.5 kilometers each game. Players are stronger, faster and more powerful than ever. So how do they keep these rhythms up? We're here in Frankfurt, and we're gonna go meet one of the pros who's literally responsible for fueling the pros, like Eintracht Frankfurt on their way to the Europa League title, or the German national teams. She's gonna tell us how you can eat like a pro. Let's go. Anna Lena Vanderfelden is a sports nutritionist, consultant, and high-performance chef with Eintracht Frankfurt and Germany. She's invited us to her house to cook up the perfect pre- and post-match snack. Why is nutrition so important for athletes, for football players? So I think um, nutrition is a really um, important performance topic, very important for the health of the players, for energy intake, that they have enough energy until the end of the, on the match. So um, carbs are, re um, are really important and um, also uh, fluid is very important. There are a lot of studies um, for, yeah, that they show that nutrition is uh, very important um, on the field for dribbling, for uh, precision to pass, for agilities. Carbohydrate intake is important because they play a major role in providing your body the energy it needs. If football players don't have enough energy available, this can hurt performance. You get tired faster, cover less distance, and your speed can decrease. Nutrition is also important for brain function and recovery. Statistics show that more goals are scored in the second half of games, which is usually when players are more fatigued. Lack of proper fuel leads to mental fatigue and poor decision making, which can be costly in games. How can players use food or how do they use food to help them recover? For recovery, nutrition is very important. Give them the, the right um, nutrition, like protein, also carbs and vitamins, minerals. So I think it's a really game changer for, for the regeneration nutrition. Let's simplify. In games, you want to perform. After, you want to regenerate. So what you should eat changes. Before games or hard training sessions, you need more carbs for energy. After, you need more protein to help your muscles recover. What are some good sources of carbs and protein? I think it's not so easy to say this is the best food or this is the best source of, of uh, carbs. So we had a lot of source of for, for carbs. So we have um, pasta, I think it's the most popular. Uh, we have rice, and potatoes, sweet potatoes, but also think like couscous, bulgur. I think it's also important to say we have not only pasta for the carbs, because a lot of football players is only pasta. Uh, salmon, for example, is a really good um, protein for recovery, so after match, after training, because uh, they also include uh, omega-3 um, fatty acids, and this is good for re regeneration. Meat, yeah, you can choose uh, chicken or something like this, and other fishes also for, for the whole day nutrition. Is there a difference between what male professional soccer players need to eat as opposed to female professionals? So I think there's not a difference what they have to eat. Um, I think the portion size is a different. Normally we, we calculate the portion size on the body weight. So this is very individual. So in this case we have, um, yeah, female players normally have less body weight. So they have less um, smaller portions. If you want to be a professional, whole healthy foods are superior when it comes to fueling performance. But even football players are humans, and we all have those foods that tempt us. I love a kebab or a kebab pizza. I absolutely love it, I have to say. Cheat meals, burgers, pizza, french fries. You like schnitzel? Can you eat those? If you can, when should you eat them? So really, um important question for all the players, I think. Um, yeah, they like to eat um, cheat meals after game, um, but sometimes they have to say, no, that's not the right um, time for this. Maybe we can make it two days after or two days before the game. We have to think, okay, what is the best situation? And we choose the day which is um, 
far away from the game. So, <laughs> so cheat meals far away from games. Is there anything that you're like, no, you should probably just not eat that ever? There are some things I think, okay, it's, it's not really necessary, but if they want, yeah, not so really often. Anna agreed to show us an easy recipe she uses for her athletes. Crepes that can be prepared in different ways. Higher carb for eating as a snack before training or matches, and higher protein for eating as the first snack afterwards. It's pretty simple. All you need is some flour, milk, eggs, sugar, then you blend the batter, and cook them over medium heat in a no-stick frying pan, and there you have it. Okay, now we have um, yeah, some pancakes, and then we have to fill it for the different situation. You should aim to have your last full meal around three hours before the match, and it should always be easy to digest. Closer to game time, you can have a snack like these crepes. For her pre-game crepes, Anna fills them with higher carb ingredients like cinnamon and sugar or fruit jam. The amount of carbs you need is variable. When preparing for an intense session or match, you need to increase the amount of carbs you eat so you have enough energy stored to help you perform. On lighter training days, you don't need as many carbs because the energy demand isn't as high. When we talk about numbers, we can talk about um, five to six gram per body uh, kilogram body weight for a training day. It depends on the intent of the training of one training, two trainings a day. And um, we have to increase the amount, uh, yeah, two to eight grams per uh, kilogram body weight for match day minus one and match day. We have to think that we also calculate your, our energy intake. So when we increase the carbohydrates on this day, we have to um, eat less proteins or less fat so wow. that we have, that we can challenge the, the energy intake. Mm -hmm. All those numbers can get confusing. Let's make things a little bit easier. According to Anna, you can use your plate to help you decide how much you should be eating for certain situations. For an intense training day or match day, you can set up your plate like this. Half the plate you can fill with carbs, things like rice, pasta, couscous or bulgur. A quarter of the plate you can fill with protein, things like chicken, fish, tofu or chickpeas and a quarter of the plate you'd fill with vegetables. For pre-match, Anna recommends cooking them and choosing low fiber options so it's easier for digestion. The same plate setup can be used as a post-match meal as well. For rest days or days with light training, you should build your plate like this. A quarter, carbs. A quarter, protein and half the plate made up of vegetables. The more variety and color, the better for your recovery. Now, let's have a look at some post-game nutrition. After the match, regeneration should begin instantly. Your body needs nutrients in order to refuel energy stores and regenerate muscles. A post-match meal should be higher in protein and contain lots of nutrients. Anna recommends consuming a snack or shake immediately, which contains around 20 grams of protein, followed by a full meal within a couple of hours. Here she shows us her post-game crepes, which are perfect to kick off recovery. So you can make it like this. Um, so we have more proteins inside. We can also use some um, berries because um, yeah, a lot of uh, vitamins, antioxidants, so it's also good for regeneration. Mm -hmm. And if we want, we can also use some um, granola like this. So we have nuts, we have um, oats, so dried fruit. So we have inside of this, we have um, carbs, we have proteins, we have vitamins. So I think this is um, also a good option for the first snack. It feels like I'm having a cheat meal. Yeah, but it's not a cheat meal. <laughs> because you have quark, you have uh, nuts, you have um, oats, fruit. Um, 
milk. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit of sugar in the dough, but um, it's not a cheat meal in my opinion. All right, you're an expert. <laughs> if it's not a cheat meal, I will eat more crepes. <laughs> Hydration also plays a crucial role in performance, recovery, and even the focus of football players. They need around 2 to 2.5 liters of fluid per day, but it also depends on training, sweat, and the temperature outside. So it's important to drink water throughout the day. During games, it's also important to consume drinks that contain electrolytes to replenish your energy stores. But don't overdo it on the sports drinks. So for the whole day, you have to drink water and or tea or something, tea or something like this uh, without sugar. Drinks like Gatorade, I think it's a, it's a drink for match day or match day for hard training, but it's not a drink for drinking all over the day. I, th I think it's important to use sports drink like Gatorade in the match because it's a source of carbohydrates, um, also inten for, for intense training days. It's um, easy to digest, it's, you have um, fluid and you have also carbs, so I think. kind of advice would you give to um, players who maybe, you know, they're a, they want to be professional one day, maybe they don't have the resources that a professional Bundesliga team might have in terms of nutrition? It's important to have, um, to have a good base, so to think about, okay, um, what kind of food I eat, do I drink a lot of Coca-Cola or something like this, um, do I eat uh, packed food, um, I think it's good to, to think about, okay, what is my base and um, to challenge or work on this, so have enough, if I have enough fruits, um, vegetables, eat I enough um, carbs, do I eat um, protein for regeneration, this recipe I we saw that it's not really difficult to make it with the real food. All right, so with a little effort and planning, you can use nutrition to help take your performance on the pitch to the next level. Focus on eating whole foods, good quality carbohydrates for energy, more before games or intense sessions, protein for muscles and recovery, multicolored vegetables and fruit, and even a cheat day is okay once in a while, as long as it's not too close to game day. Speaking of which, let's go get a burger.